All right, guys. We are have stumbled into another work week. Yep, yep, yep. We are back to Monday. That's Monday, March 27th, 2023. And uh, so I have been out partying with my clueless, lovable friends all weekend. And coming back to find at least two articles. I've heard about this shit called, called Trank. T-R-A-N-Q. And I guess we have stories both from uh, Massachusetts and New York. I think we're going to go with the Massachusetts version because it can, you know, it can fit uh, pretty much any state of the Union, I guess, uh, about this new drug called Trank. And after reading this shit, well, let me just read you the story. It's not too long. Titled, <clears throat> Everybody is Dropping Like Flies. A Federal Trank Warning. We have a Federal Trank Warning. And this is looking at uh, the escalating concerns in Massachusetts, although there was an almost identical story from New York City. So in case you haven't heard of this shit, <clears throat> the new warning from the DEA, you know, the Drug Enforcement Agency, over, quote, the deadliest drug threat our country has ever faced, close quote, follows escalating concerns in Massachusetts and, you know, everywhere else about the dangerous animal tranquilizer. Boston 25 News first told you about xylazine, also known as Trank and the zombie drug. As far back as September, the US DEA now issued an alert Monday warning of a, quote, sharp increase in the trafficking of fentanyl mixed with xylazine. Fentanyl mixed with xylazine. The anesthetic that is approved for veterinary use with large animals is not an opioid. That means Narcan, a crucial tool in saving lives in the opioid, epidemic cannot reverse its effects. The latest data from a state-funded collaborative tracking program in Massachusetts shows that about a, thir a third of New England's illegal drug supply is now laced with xylazine. Quote, everybody is dropping like flies, said Will Revis of Boston. I know quite a few people that most likely passed away because of this new stuff. It's just going to get worse. More people are going to die. Boston 25 News spoke with several people who believe recent overdoses involving people they know are linked to the animal tranquilizer. Quote, I have a few friends that are now six feet under because of the issues in one woman. It's scary to think about it. I'm about to cry. A horse tranquilizer should not be on the streets. It's like rat poisoning. Close quote. That's exactly what it's like is rat poisoning. Public health experts believe people are taking, you know, trank both unknowingly and intentionally. That is because some people report that Trank lengthens the euphoric effects of fentanyl. This is Patricia McGrath of Boston. Quote, it has put my life in danger. When I woke up, it was like a shock, a sense of something I cannot explain. Close quote. Repeated xylazine use is also associated with skin ulcers and severe wounds, including the rotting of human tissue, which can lead to amputation. 
just last month, the FDA said it took action to prevent xylazine from entering the U.S. market for illicit purposes. Uh, the DEA is reporting that in 2022, approximately 23% of fentanyl powder and 7% of fentanyl pills seized by the DEA, DEA contained xylazine. And uh, so we have 3,096 comments on here. Uh, you know, I was thinking, I said, okay, you, you know, I'm, I'm always wondering when, uh, you know, about 80% of the time, my uh, comments on Yahoo news articles are, you know, not allowed. They are, it is a violation of the, uh, of the uh, Yahoo news community about hearing, you know, Hambone Little Tail's comments about here. So I just assumed, now the comments been buried somewhere in 3,000 comments. I just uh, assume when I put in three cheers for Trank, three cheers for Trank for thinning the herd, uh, that I was automatically going to get rid I went right through. Three cheers for Trank for, th for thinning the herd went right through. And uh, I, I said, huh. So apparently the Yahoo community no longer has a problem with cheering on, you know, increasing the death rate. I've always, you know, said there's two ways to approach the depopulation agenda. One is to increase the death rate and one is to decrease the birth rate, preferably to zero. Now, I, I've always been a big fan of, uh, of decreasing the birth rate, preferably to zero, than increasing the death rate. But it, it, it's finally, it, 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 it's, I, I, I'm finally starting to cross some Rubicon here in my own life that I, you know, as I look at the situation on this planet, uh, it's, it's just time. I mean, can't we all agree? You know what I'm saying. I, I'm, I'm talking about everyone from Trump tards to little limp dick lefties. We have to start somewhere. And uh, I, I'm always hoping that capital punishment that we can all agree we need more capital punishment on this planet, not less, uh, that we need to put a hell of a lot more crimes, uh, you know, to get rid of, uh, uh, of these fuckers who we can all agree are, are going to do nothing on any level. You know what I'm saying. Uh, anybody who rapes a three-year-old girl needs to die. Uh, let the noble savages explain it to you. You know, all of these limp dick lefties uh, curse, you know, talking shit about capital punishment and then putting these noble savages up on a pedestal. I guarantee fucking to you if the noble savages uh, were still in charge in this country uh, where uh, the, what the criminal justice system would look like. Okay, but I'm, but I'm gaining no traction with the little limp dick lefties about that, so maybe we can start here. Uh, now, now, one other place, there's a long article about Haiti, I noticed, on Medium.com. I have noticed in Yahoo News stories about Haiti, uh, just more and more people saying, just, uh, you know, just let Haiti do what it's going to do. 
uh, the, the rest of the world needs to walk the fuck away from Haiti. Alright? There is absolutely nothing uh, that the country of Haiti can do to the rest of the planet and do for the rest of this. Let the, let's start with the country of Haiti. Just let it go down its own toilet. But this one with Trank, uh, I am glad to, uh, to see. It, it, it looks like maybe with Trank, um, uh, Let's see. <clears throat> I agree with some of the other posts, you know, basically uh, saying, I don't know if I was one they agreed with, saying three cheers for Tranks. I agree with some of the other posts. If people choose to use this stuff, then they risk dying from it. Why do we, as a society, waste resources trying to save drug users. Terry is correct. This is a self-fixing problem. Yes. And I realize I may feel differently if I have a loved one die from an overdose. And I will say I have had several loved ones who have died from overdoses. I just want to make that clear for the record. So I noticed that James has 199 thumbs up, 8 thumbs down. <clears throat> Here is Bonnie replying to James, James, I had a brother die of a drug overdose. However, I still, I still feel the same. If you choose to dr do drugs, then you are playing Ru Russian roulette. He lost. Our family can now move on. As cold as that may sound, 141 thumbs up. Here's Charles continuing the James conversation. Charles says, Amen to that. It is all about choice, and each of us have choices. Make the wrong choice that you know is high risk and die from it. It is that person's choice to commit drug suicide. Uh, if, if people want off drugs, they have to want off of them. Many have done so and are living good lives today. Don't want to? Pay the price, but leave a pot of money for the funeral home first. 20 thumbs up for Charles. Uh, here is, oh my god, wow. Let them do themselves in. They know the risk of and have accepted any of the consequences. There you go. No more bleeding hearts for them. 371 thumbs up, 29 thumbs down. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's see. Uh, we're going to listen to one more from Robert. If people are that stupid to get caught up in drugs, then let them drop like flies. I have no sympathy for them. I grew up in an area that drugs were highly in use, I chose not to get into this scene. All of my friends were into heroin and other drugs. They are now either dead, have been in prison, or are still in prison. 
Uh, anyway, Robert 79 thumbs up. Let them drop like flies. Anyway, this goes on and on and on. People cheering on. This is, I consider this a very positive. Uh, we, we've got to start somewhere in reducing the population of this planet. If, if we can't start with somebody willingly whose life is so fucking miserable that they choose to take a drug called Trank or the zombie drug that they know uh, at least can make these flesh-eating open sores leading to amputation. You know, why, why does this fucker deserve to live? Let them drop like flies. Hallelujah, brother. Tired of this fucking bullshit. Let them drop like flies. Let that entire fucking country of Haiti. Uh, good fucking God. Let it go, people. Let it the fuck go. Bring on the next big earthquake in Haiti. Anyway. What else? Do you agree, Sancho Panza? Can we let them drop like flies? Anyway, get out there and drop like a fly while you still can. Bye, guys.